Hello friends and thank you for watching our video today. Today our video is on rainbows. We're going to be exploring how rainbows are formed. Where do rainbows come from? How are they made? And I'm even going to show you how you can make your very own rainbow at home. So keep watching and sing along with us and join in all the fun. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding. Thanks for singing with me to Mr. Sun. Now we're going to learn about how rainbows are formed. But before we do that, we're going to sing this song. It's called I See Rainbows. Ready? We're going to sing it together. I see rainbows. I see rainbows. Way up high in the sky. They are red and orange. Yellow, green, and blue. Purple. To what a view! I see rainbows, I see rainbows way up high in the sky. They are made of sunshine shining through the rain. What a view! Sky so blue. That was great. How about we try to do it again? I see rainbows, I see rainbows way up high in the sky. They are red and orange, yellow, green, and blue, purple too. What a view! I see rainbows, I see rainbows way up high in the sky. They are made of sunshine, shining through the rain. What a view! Sky so blue. Do you ever wonder how rainbows are formed? Well, rainbows are formed when light shines through water, like when the sun shines through the rain. This light is reflected like a mirror, and it causes all the amazing colors you see. Rainbows normally appear right after rain, but they can also happen wherever light is being bent inside of water droplets. Rainbows can be seen in mist, fog, spray, and dew. Rainbows are made up of all seven colors that come from light. These colors are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Take a look at the rainbow and tell me if you can see all those seven colors in the rainbow. I wonder, where is the end of the rainbow? Well, let me tell you, there is no end to a rainbow. Even though they look like an arch to us or an upside down letter U, rainbows are actually full circles. We can only see some of the circle because we usually view the rainbow from the ground. 
Well, I hope you learned a lot of fun information about rainbows and you got to learn how rainbows are formed. Now I want to tell you something else, a fun activity that you can try at home now that it's springtime and summer's around the corner. Maybe this is something you can do outside. It's creating your own rainbow outside with a garden hose. Let's watch the video. All you will need to make your own rainbow at home is a garden hose or a sprinkler. Because we know that when sunshine goes through water, it creates a rainbow. So as long as it's a nice, warm, very sunny day, you can try to recreate your own rainbow in your garden. Look how beautiful this rainbow is. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. The great big spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and wash the spider out out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the great big spider went up the spout again for this next song it's called two little birds I want you to use your two little fingers, from one from each hand, and pretend they're little birds. Move them up and down. Two little birds sitting on a wall. One named Peter, one named Paul. Fly away, Peter. Fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter. Come back, Paul. And both fingers should be touching. Let's try again. Two little birds sitting on a wall, one named Peter, one named Paul. Fly away, Peter. Fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter. Come back, Paul. Our next song is called The Bear Went Over the Mountain. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain to see what he could see. To see what he could see. To see what he could see the bear went over the mountain the bear went over the mountain the bear went over the mountain to see what he could see other side of the mountain the other side of the mountain the other side of the mountain was all that he could see, was all that he could see, was all that he could see. The other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain. Was all that he could see. This next little rhyme that I'm gonna read is about a little turtle, and his name is Tim, and he loves his bubble baths. So here we go. There was a little turtle, his name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water and 
ate up all the soap. And now he's in the bathtub with a bubble in his throat. Bubble, 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 pop. Now our last song was about a turtle, and this song's about a little green frog. It's called the little green frog. Mm -hmm. Went the little green frog one day. Mm -hmm. Went the little green frog. Mm -hmm. Went the little green frog one day, and they all went mm 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 ah. We all know frogs go la di da di da, la di da di da, la di da di da. We all know frogs go la di da di da. They don't go mm mm ah. Mm -hmm. Went the little green frog one day. Mm -hmm. Went the little green frog. Mm -hmm. Went the little green frog one day, and they all went mm -mm ah. We all know frogs go la di da di da, la di da di da, la di da di da. We all know frogs go la di da di da. They don't go mm -mm ah. Now we're going to sing another song about frogs. How many frogs are on the log? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five green speckled frogs. That's our next song. Get ready. Five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Four little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Two little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. Glub, glub. One little speckled frog sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. It jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Thank you for coming to play. We're going to be making an abstract art um, using materials that you have at home. So you'll, you, all you need is um, construction paper, tape, any sort of tape that will just come off the tape paper easily, some crayons, markers, paint. I'm using quick sticks. Um, which is like a tempera paint but in a crayon format. It's good for little ones like toddlers And if you don't want them to make a big mess, um, you can find them online I'll put the name of it at the end of the video if you want to look for it So now I started with putting some tape on The construction paper I use painters tape. That's what I had um, so that's what I used for um, to make the different shapes on the paper um, for your older preschoolers or older toddlers that are able to rip the tape on their own, they can do it by themselves. If not, you can rip the pieces for them and just leave them around for them to be able to stick it onto their paper however they want to do it. Now I'm going to start um, coloring in inside the taped area. Um, I'm going to use the quick sticks. Um, 
they look like crayons but they come paint like paint uh, without the big mess so we can start by coloring in the, the different um, areas all the different shapes um, you can do a pattern you can use whatever color this is a great way to for your children to start uh, recognizing colors so you can ask them what's your favorite color and they choose um, they can point out to the colors that they're using so I tried doing the activity after with my four-year-old and this is how it went we're using these um, crayons they're called quick sticks, quick sticks. Um, it works like tempera paint but it's in a stick format so it looks a little bit like a crayon but you can use anything you have at home you can use markers crayons you can even use paint and brush it on it's a great activity for children's fine motor it helps with their concentration being able to focus and stay within the um, square or the cube or the shape that they're coloring it learning about colors so what color are you using right now Trying to keep your little ones entertained, especially during lockdowns, is very difficult um, during the winter when you can't go outside as much. So finding any little activities that they can do, even if, if it's for 10-15 minutes at a time, they're concentrating, they're involved in the activity, they're having, asking questions, they're talking, um, any little activity helps. And I found this activity we sat for about 10 minutes doing the activity and uh, he really enjoyed it. Can you see it? No. no. I can see only see white. Yeah, it's very, very, very hard to see. But on the blue paper, easier to see. coloring wow it looks like a beautiful masterpiece we are going to pull all the tape off so pull all the tape off and see what it looks like Can you pull the tape off I'll hold the paper love to scribble, mix, dance, and wiggle. Mix, 
mash and splash, squish, mish and squash, mish, mash and squash. Look at them mixing all the colors. Monsters love new colors. Yellow monster has a favorite color. His color is yellow. And blue likes blue. And red is holding the red crayon. My favorite color is red. Red is the color of roar and snore. And more, more, more. My favorite color is yellow. Yellow is the color of prowl and howl and growl, growl, growl. Oh, look at the moon. It's howling, howl. My favorite color is blue. Blue is the color of scribble and dribble and nibble, 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 nibble. Hey! Don't eat your crayon, silly monster, says the gray monster at the bottom. Do you see the little gray monster at the bottom? What new favorite color can we make for you? Orange! The little, little one, do you see it? He's saying orange. Scribble, scribble, mix, dance, and wiggle. Mixing red and yellow makes orange. Do you see the little gray monster? He is now orange. They colored him. They mixed red and yellow, and they made orange. And what new favorite color can we make of you? Green, he says. You see the little one, the little gray one? He's shouting green. Dribble, scribble, mix, dance, and wiggle. They're changing his color. What colors did they mix? Mixing yellow and blue makes green. Me next, me next, says the little one. Oh, he wants a turn. And what new favorite color can we make for you? Purple. Hey, buddy, I was supposed to say purple, said the little gray monster. Scribble, dribble, scribble, mix, dance, and wiggle. Mixing red and blue makes Purple! Look, he's purple now. And what new favorite color can we make for you? Red, yellow, blue, orange, green, maybe purple. Hmm, said the little gray guy. I know. Mm, I wonder what color. Super tropical mega monster rainbow swirl with raspberry on top. Huh, what color is that? Scribble, scribble, drip, splash, dribble. Mix, mash, squish, squash, dance and wiggle. Oh, the mon color monsters are busy mixing all the colors. Monsters love new colors. Red, yellow, blue, orange, green, purple, and rainbow. Look at the little gray guy's rainbow now. Monsters love new colors, especially rainbow, all the colors of the rainbow. What's your favorite color? Mine is purple.